Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Sprocket video. Today we are going to be trying to build a tank that goes over, I want to say 60 miles an hour. Now my top speed so far has been 45, so I'm not really sure I'll be able to do this, but we're going to give it a go anyway. Hey! Alrighty, I just wanted to say before this video actually begins, I want to say thank you guys very, very much for watching this video. If you guys do enjoy these videos, please leave a like on the video down below. Also, consider subscribing. As well as that, I've got my Discord link down below, where I would love for you guys to share your tanks and things that you actually build in this game. So, if you can, join my Discord and uh, post some pictures of your tanks in the Sprocket channel. I uh, look forward to seeing what you guys have actually built. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Okie dokie, so the thinner the tracks they are we have, uh, the better it will be, so we're going to try and make the entire thing a little bit smaller. So 1.8 is the size of the tank, there we go, by, I want to say 5 meters, there we go. 1.8 by 5, that actually seems like a decent sized tank. For now we're going to get rid of the turret, because we don't need to deal with that just yet, uh, and we're going to figure out how uh, we can make this thing Speedy Gonzales. So, let's go ahead and jump into the tracks straight away. And we'll figure that out. We're actually going to make the tracks 0.4 meters. There we go. That is very skinny. Uh, as for the idler, that is going to be a lot skinnier as well if we can. Uh, so the width of this guy is going to go way in there. There we go. Awesome sauce. Uh, and then the rest of them are also going to be very skinny too. So the width of these guys all the way in. We're going to go to suspension real quick. And we're going to apply these guys. Yes, because I think they're going to be awesome. Uh, and I think... I kind of want to make them go higher. There, well, yeah, kind of like this. Alright, awesome. I think that'll make it go quite fast. Uh, diameter of these wheels are going to be a little bit bigger. That looks really awesome to me, actually. I like that. Uh, and that looks pretty good. Yes. Alright, track width. We are going to leave it at 0.4. There we go. Uh, thickness is actually going to be 0.10. Yes, I'm adding weight. But at the same time, it looks a little bit cooler. So that's good. Uh, right, mobility fender. We're going to have no fenders just yet. Okie dokie, that's awesome. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the base. Here we go. And we're going to angle this backwards quite far like this. Looks a little bit like a half track, kind of. There we go. And we're going to angle that in as well. And that looks pretty cool to me. I like it. Alright, yeah, I actually really, really like the way this thing is looking so far. We're going to go ahead and drop this down, have the back end be pretty flat, and that makes sense. We're then actually going to make the height of this 0.8, because I think that makes a lot more sense as well. And if I can, I'm going to try and lift everything up to fit with it. So, go to tracks, there we go. Go to the return rollers, they're going to go all the way up to there. And we're going to try and fit the sprocket to it as well. Awesome. And this guy is going to go back here, just like this. Now obviously these bits poke out the back, but that is A-OK. -okay. That actually looks fantastic so far. Also, I believe these are the return rollers right here. They're actually in the middle of my suspension, which makes them look very, very strange. So if we can, we're going to go ahead and try and make the spacing of those guys a little bit better. So they're not actually in the suspension. There we go. All right, cool. That one still is, but that's all right. Very nice. Yes, so far, so good. Okie dokie. So now for the actual engine itself, we're going to have a 12 cylinder. Uh, I guess per cylinder we're actually going to have two liters. I usually go with two liters, so that makes sense. And, yeah, that all is fine. We're going to leave that as, uh, actually 3600, that does seem fine. There we go. Uh, then this guy is going to be half of that, which is 1300. There we go. No, it's not. It's 1800, isn't it? 1800. There we go. And this guy, 3600 also. There we go. Uh, 26 liters, so, uh, 26 horsepower per ton. That's actually really good. Okay, dokily then. I think what we'll do from here is we'll actually put some vents on the rear end. We'll actually put them on a uh, very small, but we're actually going to have the engine uh, towards the mid engine. We're going to have a mid engine tank. There we go. We're a speedster now. That's awesome. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and attach these guys, which usually look, oh, I don't know, they look strange, I guess. Uh, I'd love to flip them over, but. For some reason, they keep doing this, which is really weird, but there we go. We can attach those straight into the back, just like that. Okay, amaze balls. I'm actually thinking we're going to put these right here as well. Okay, very nice. That's cool. 
Okay, so because we are actually building a tank as well, I think what I do need to do uh, is I need to make sure that everything actually works out fine. We're going to make that eight. We're going to make that eight as well. Uh, and that's all pretty okay. Pretty okay. Nice. Uh, fuel, we're going to put as least fuel in as possible. 50 liters, something like that. Makes sense. And that is awesome. All right. Okay, go to the turret. We're going to put one on. Okay, it looks a little bit big to me. Not going to lie. Uh, so we're going to make it a lot smaller in terms of length uh, of the midsection. We're going to make it one... Yeah, I guess that works. Actually, we're going to make it a little bit less than that as well. And also, the rear end is going to go all the way down to pretty much nothing. There we go. Okay, if we can offset it, that'd be great. But I am thinking we just build it kind of like this. There we go. That looks sick to me. I think that looks like a cool looking tank. Uh, the gun on it, though, is going to be relatively small. I'm just going to go ahead and whack one of these on, put it right in the middle, and that looks... I like this tank so far. I think it looks great. Okay, right, so now that we've done that, the caliber of the gun is actually going to be 75mm. That seems fine. Um, yes, we're actually going to make... Hmm, actually, no. We're going to go with a 55mm gun, which is a lot smaller, but that's okay. And we're going to make this hit 100 in penetration, and that's going to be really good, too. However, the length of the barrel can be way smaller. Okay. All right, 0 0.6. That's awesome. Almost 100 millimeters of pen. That's good. And we'll go with that. That looks cool. That's a cool looking tank. All right, so, so far we are looking pretty good. However, we obviously have too much stuff inside of there, uh, including the crew. So we need to make that work a little bit better for us. However, as it stands right now, this looks pretty awesome. Let's go to crew. There we go. We'll actually whack one of these on the top of there. Uh, right in the center, actually. Just like so. That actually looks pretty awesome. Viewports. We're going to go ahead and put the driver's seat right here on the side. It's going to be relatively large. There we go. We're going to lower it down a little bit. That's pretty cool. And we're going to jump straight to the infantry fighting guns. There we go. And we're going to put that there as well. Okie dokie. All right. The view sight for the gunner is going to go up here on the turret. Awesome sauce. Antennas, we're going to go ahead and whack those on the rear. Uh, we're going to have two of them, and they're going to be really small. Okie dokie. Uh, stowages, oh, this is something that I keep like forgetting to do, or just don't do very well. Uh, and that's because I'm just not very good at this game. But that's okay, because if we add them on, we can still make it look pretty awesome. There we go. Okay, I'm thinking a bag for the last one, if we can. I can't actually put that on, that sucks. Damn it, okay. I guess we can put them on the rear then. There we go, just like that. Amazing, that actually looks really good. Crew hatches, we're going to go ahead and put one of those on the back of the turret, just like this. Amaze balls. Lights, we're going to go ahead and whack those on. Probably like one singular one, right in the middle. I know that looks weird, but we're going to roll with it anyway. Yeah, we're rolling with it. These guys on each side, awesome. Uh, and that to me actually looks pretty good. Yes, all right, we're going to put these on front and back. So we can get towed along. And that is essentially all we need to do. Amaze balls. Crew hatches. We're going to go ahead and do these on here as well. There we go. Just so the crew can get in and out. Amazing. Yes. Uh, and that actually looks pretty sick to me. Okie dokie. So mobility. We need to make sure that this thing actually works. We do. We do. We do. We're going to go ahead and put this on. All right. Front offset is going to go back all the way to about there. Okay. Angle of it is going to go all the way up. And... I don't think I want this one. I think I want this one. There we go. All right, looks pretty strange, but that's okay. Width of it is actually going to come in a hell of a lot as well. Uh, and to me, that looks that looks all right. Front offset's going to come back till this meets there, and I think that works. Yeah, I, that definitely works. Also, I did see someone using these for something quite interesting. They actually made them very small, uh, and they put them on the sides, and uh, it looked really good. But I don't think I'm going to be able to do it the way they did it. But we're going to try it anyway. Here we go. Whack them on the back at the side. We're going to have another one right here as well. Kind of like that. Okay, awesome. That looks pretty good, actually. I like that. All right, whack that on. Right about, right, right, right about there. Okay, cool. And then they actually had, like, fuel tanks in here. So um, I think we'll try that. Here we go. Fuel, fuel tank. I don't know if I can make it. Oh, yeah, it looks like this. Tiny little fuel tanks in there. That looks cool. That actually looks really cool. I wish that I could undo things, but I can't. Alright, whack this right here. 
like this, and we'll copy and paste these guys into here. And I think... Hmm. I can't do the mid one. Oh, wow, that looks really weird from the back end. But actually, I don't mind it. As well, if we put them down here... Oh, I can't actually fit a fuel tank in. Damn it! That would be sick if we could put them there. Uh, but no, that looks really strange, so I'm not sure if I want to keep it. I don't know, though. Alright, let's put this here. Grab another one. Put it as far over to the left as I can. Because then we can put one in the middle. Like that. And then we can put this one. Oh, wow, they have to be so far away from each other. Damn it. Alright, maybe we don't want these. I, I do think they look kind of cool, though. But no, we'll get rid of them. There we go. Oh, maybe we shouldn't. I don't know. I kind of like it. I do, but we'll have external fuel tanks right here anyway. Uh, for reasons. There we go. And if I can put, like, two small ones next to each other. Hiding behind the stowages. That would be awesome. Right, okay. So, this is all about speed. I want this thing to be 60 miles an hour. So, we need to try and make it as light as possible in order to do that. And apparently, 46% of our, our mass is actually armor. So, we're going to go ahead and get to the hull. We're going to go to armor. And we're going to get rid of all of the belly armor. There we go, pretty much. The upper section of the turret is going to be 30. There we go. We're going to have very limited armor on this thing. Uh, this bit, the midsection, is actually going to be 30 as well. We're going to have very, very, very minimal armor. Uh, and then the bottom section is also going to be... Uh, 30. There we go. Okay, the sponsor. Zero. Okay. Rear. Zero, 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 and zero. Actually, sides are going to be like 25. Okay, just in case we get shot kind of in the side. There we go. Anything that shoots us will kill us, unfortunately. Uh, we're going to make these 30 as well. There we go. Okay, the roof. Uh, shouldn't have anything, so we'll get rid of that. Uh, the lower section of the side, that's okay. Alright, so we've, we've made ourselves weigh a hell of a lot less. Unfortunately, that's not amazing. Because now, um, we have no armor on the front. So actually, I'm thinking, we go with 75 for the front strip, because it's, cause it's flat. Uh, and then we'll go with 40 for the midsection. And then 40 for the upper section. And that's okay. Alright, so currently, so far, kind of so good. Alright, crew. Crew, crew, crew. Hull. 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 Can the commander go in the turret? Why is everyone in the hull? The, everyone is in the hull. Turret, there we go. And loader, turret, there we go. And I kind of feel like the commander goes in the turret too, but apparently not. Okie dokie, what kind of color tank do we actually want to see today? I think a blue one, but a... Oh wow, a purple tank. That's kind of interesting. No, a blue tank would be awesome. But like a light blue... Kind of like this. Or maybe not. There we go. Kind of like blue but like grey at the same time. That looks awesome. Right, livery. Let's go to paint. And we'll put a little uh, a little symbol on the side of here. There we go. And we'll actually make it a, a French tank. Kind of a French tank would be cool. An Italian tank would be awesome as well. In fact, we are going to make it an Italian tank. There we go. We'll also place another flag on the front. There we go. And that's going to be Italian as well. Alright, there we go. Yeah, that looks sick. I like it. Okie dokie then. Let's go ahead and spawn her in and get her moving. Here we go. So, I did want to hit 60 miles an hour. Unfortunately, that does not look like it's going to be the case. Uh, because we are super slow. We are super slow, actually. This isn't the best. This is not amazing. I'm not the best with gear ratios either, so it doesn't really help, but, um, yeah. Okie dokie, so unfortunately, that is not as fast as I want it to be. It's not as fast as I want it to be. We're going to make it a 16-cylinder instead. Okay, that makes it a little bit better. 59 horsepower per ton. Okay, as long as the gearbox can work with that. Let's make it 9 gears by 4, that's fine. We'll make this up to, down to six, down to six, put this down to six as well. There we go, all right, let's see how this goes. Moving at the start is going to be slow, but that's all right. There we go, as long as we change gears quite smoothly. 
We're at 20. Okay, we are not speeding up as much as I want to. We are not. We're not getting up into the right gears either. It's not It's not letting me get up to the right gears. That's not good. That's not that good. Hmm. How do I make it faster? Hmm. Alright, if we can fit a 4 litre in this. Uh, sorry, 4. Actually, let's go with 4. There we go. So 4 litres per cylinder. And we'll only have 12 cylinders. If we can make this fit. Actually, 10. There we go. We still have 73 horsepower per... Okay, but we don't, because we need this to go down. Okay, and then we need this to go down to 1,450. There we go, and then we need this to 900. Okay, 62 horsepower per ton. That is an insane amount of horsepower per ton for a tank like this. However, our gear ratios don't allow us to get up to the right speeds, unfortunately. Yeah, we need to go faster and faster if we can. Okie dokie, speed needs to be going faster! Speed needs to be going faster, that doesn't make any sense. But anyway, chuck this thing down a hill, there we go, gain our speed momentarily. Okie dokie, and we are going almost 40. We're going almost 40 when we go down a hill. That is not fast enough. Okay, so it turns out I have no idea how to make a tank fast. I thought this suspension would be good for it, but uh, I, I actually really don't know whether that even helps. Uh, as well as that, actually, um, I'm not sure that our gear ratios are good. So, these ratios multiply the engine's force while slowing it down. So, our RPM um, slows down the more this is or the less this is. I don't know why my brain can't work that out, but it really can't. Yeah, okay, so the less it is, the, uh, the faster we will end up going. Because I turn this up to 13.5 and this lowest bit is 2.3. And we are still gaining too much RPM on our engine, so it will explode. Uh, essentially, what we need to do then is we need to lower this down to a certain amount where, I don't know, if we, we start at like 3, sorry, this needs to be 4, there we go. If we start at 3, and we do that, then are we going to be slow enough, sorry, are we going to multiply it enough by the end? I'm not entirely sure we are, but let's go ahead and see. Okay, we've just changed into th third gear at like 20 miles an hour, okay, alright. We have, what, six gears, so that's okay. But we can't actually get our engine to push that far, if that makes sense. So the next gear, the fourth one, actually needs to be a little bit more, you know, or a little bit bigger, in order to actually change to it and give us a little bit more oomph, I think. So let's go ahead and go down this hill, see if we can hit 40 again. All right, we hit 40. We are in fifth gear now. All right, now we're slowing all the way down, but now we're speeding up, so we're comfortably getting to around 30. All right, cool. Okay, so none of this is actually working. Go to tracks, there we go. We're actually gonna change the suspension back to these little ones, there we go, kinda like, kinda like that, there we go, and we're gonna make them very big, okay? So the diameter of these guys is gonna be pretty huge, there we go, and uh, we're gonna test those out. Okay, go. Okay, so straight up to 13 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour, okie dokie, 25 miles an hour, 26 miles an hour, 27 miles an hour, okay, get us down onto the beach and we'll see how fast this goes, let's go, 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 yes, I mean, it looks weird, not gonna lie, but, I don't know, the bigger the wheels are, the better we drive, apparently, here we go, All right, get us down onto the beach, see how fast we can make it go down a hill, oh, and then see what kind of speed we can maintain when we're down there. Alright, we're in 6th gear, so the 6th gear actually needs to be a little bit bigger now. Sorry, smaller. Yes, because now we're getting up to about 40. Alright, cool. Yes, the gears can change! The gears can change. Do this, and do this. Alright, but actually, we're going to start at 2.5 now, which is a little bit dangerous, but let's see if it will work. 2.5, go! Alright, here we go, so... We're in 2nd already. Okay, we're in 3rd. We're in fourth. We're going 30 miles an hour in fourth. Okay, getting our speed up again. We need to get onto the beach. Um, what I could do is I could actually change maps and we could go onto the really long one. Uh, we'll test it out there. That's probably a better idea, actually. Okie dokie, it is. Go, go, go. Yes. All right, cool. So we are going to see how fast we can actually make this thing go uh, before we get to one of those ramps. We are currently going 30. We're now going 35. 
Where are we going? 36, 37, 38, 39. We need to switch up a gear. We still have another gear to go. We're doing a jump, apparently. Whee! All right, cool. And we're going to continue. All right, so we're going to go until we see the end of the map. All right. And if we can change into sixth gear before then, that would be amazing. All right. Here we go. Keep going. Keep going. Everything is completely fine. We're almost going 40. Almost. I don't know what at what point it'll actually change up a gear, but we do have another gear to get into, so we'll see. Alright, it doesn't look like it actually wants to change gear, which is unfortunate. So we're actually going to turn around, and we are going to go ahead and change this. Here we go. Mobility, yes. Engine, yes. We're apparently very fast at the moment, but I think we should make it smaller. Which seems weird, I know. Two seven hundred. Alright, two seven hundred. Okay. That is fine. One four hundred. Okay. Ninety seven point seven horsepower per ton. That's insane. Alright, let's go. Alright, we're already in fourth. There we go. We're already going thirty miles an hour. Let's go past this instead. We're not doing a jump this time. We're in fifth and we're almost going forty. Okay, we're going 40. I want to get it to 60 if I possibly can. That would be amazing. That would be amazing for the Italian stallion, guys. All right, now we're in sixth, and we have stopped right there. Okay, right. Gears. Here we go. We're going to add more gears. We're going to go up to eight gears again. We're going to go ahead and make this... Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess that works. We'll make this 0 0.3. There we go, and that's all fine. Right, go. Go, go, go. We're going to turn left straight away. And we're going to head this direction, and we're going to change gears as we go up in the gears. Uh, we are going to go faster and faster and faster, hopefully. Okie dokie, we're at 40 miles an hour, we're at 42 miles an hour. Okay, this is 6th gear, so we've actually slowed down in 6th. That's not amazing. That is not amazing. Okay, we slowed down, so more engine power, maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, if we can make it a little bit bigger, and we can actually fit this engine power in. That would be fantastic. But anyway, crew. Commander can go in the turret. There we go. And we're going to get rid of all of the ammo. In said turret. There we go. Oh, we still don't fit the commander. Okay, the crew in the turret is going to be cramped. There we go. Turret crew. Very, very cramped. Okay, the loader needs more space than pretty much anyone. Alright, so there we go. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's fine. Good. All right, cool. So, mobility, that's all good. Engine, I kind of want to make it better. So, if we lower this... Right, if we lower this to, like, two... There we go. That seems weird. Like a weird design choice. But then we can have more cylinders. We can have higher revs. Okay. There we go. So, one, eight hundred. There we go. And then three, six hundred. There we go, which means we can go through the gears a little bit more, I think. Alright, off we go. We got more revs to work with, so we can stay in first, second, third, fourth a little bit longer. And that should make us a little bit quicker, I think. So we're in third until we hit 34 miles an hour. Alright, come on, we got this. 36, 37, 38, there we go, 39. Okay, our revs are still quite high, so that's awesome. 39 still. Okay, we changed into fourth, and we are staying at about 39. Okay, as soon as we change gear again, we're going to get even slower, aren't we? Yes, that is a problem. Okay, but we got more room to make the engine bigger. But as we make the engine bigger, obviously we add more weight. Uh, but since the weight is literally just an engine, uh, maybe that's okay. 2.7. There we go, 2.7. Let's do it. 3, 300. There we go. One. Uh, wait, actually, wait. Three... 300. There we go. Almost 100 horsepower per ton. That's insane. Okie dokie. So that should be good for us. The gear ratio is going to stay as is and we are going to go for it again. I'm sorry if this does get boring, but uh, I'm going to try my best to make this work. I just want a fast tank and if this can be it, then uh, that's great. Okay, we're in fourth and we have passed 40 miles an hour and we have just slowed down because we hit fifth. Okay, right. Fourth needs to go on for a little bit longer. Four is that. Okay. Fifth is gonna be... Oh, God. Okay, so this is gonna be seven. There we go. This is gonna be six. Then this is gonna be five. Not point five. 
Okay, this is going to be 0 0.4. And then this is going to be 0 0.3. All right, go. Go, go, go. All right, I have no idea if this is going to work. I love that we've got a tank with an actual turret on it as well. Because uh, it does actually make it kind of useful a little bit. There we go. We're in fifth now. Okay. And we are going 41, 42, 43 miles an hour. It's not fast enough. We need to be faster. We're in sixth gear now. And we've slowed down. Damn it. Okay, I've got rid of two gears because I can. I've also uh, changed this gear to 0.55 because it was 0.50. I think that initially just makes sense. So that's awesome. Engine, this is all good. If we do make this higher, we can have more revs. But at, at the same time, it makes our engine bigger. And that is not amazing. But 2.9. 2.9 seems interesting. I kind of want to do it. 3, 200. There we go, one six hundred. Okay, and then three two hundred. Okie dokie. We're over a hundred miles sorry, a hundred horsepower per ton. That's brilliant. Oh, would you look at that? We're at almost forty-five miles an hour. Okay. But we are still nowhere near where we want to be, so I'm gonna make our our transmission work a little bit differently. So the jump from first to second is actually gonna be a little bit longer. This is gonna be one, alright? So we're going to jump quite far, uh, which makes some sort of sense. Actually, it's going to be 1.1. 1.1. There we go. And that's going to stay like that. Let's go. Okay, we're at 40, and we are still... Oh, there we go. We've just changed to 6th, and now we are going 44. There we go. We're going to hit 45. All right. Still not 60, though. Still not 60. All right. Things are going to have to change. I'm sorry, guys, but the length of it is going to be going up to 5.5. There we go. We're a little bit longer. That's completely fine. Mobility, that does mean our engine can be now 3. In fact, it can be 3.25. It can actually be 3.3. There we go. And this means this can be a little bit higher. So, uh, our RPM, 3.100. Okay, very good. Uh, do, 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 one, 5.50. Okay, 3.100. Okay, 106 horsepower per ton. Uh, our output of our engine is actually 1,700 horsepower. That is kind of insane. Okay, we changed into sixth and we are still going. There we go. Our 1,700 horsepower engine is reaching its limits though. We need more gears uh, with how big this engine is. So that's okay. Let's go back to transmission. Add a few more gears. This is going to be 0 0.4. 5. And then this is going to be 0 0.35. And that's all good. Okay, hopefully this works. Okie dokie, the Italian Stallion is going, guys. It is totally going. I am thinking about changing the uh, the wheels a little bit. If we make them bigger, uh, then we are only powering two wheels instead of... Sorry, we're only powering four wheels instead of uh, six. So, that's a thing. We are in seventh gear now, and we're slowing down. Okay, right. Things need to change. Things need to change, and it is the road wheels. We're also going to get rid of the return rollers, and we are going to make these even bigger. There we go. Oh, yeah. No, that makes so much sense. That makes that makes a hell of a lot of sense, doing it like that. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so happy we've made this. There we go. All right. Speedy tank, let's go. They might be too big now. I'm not going to lie. They might be a little bit too big. But we're going to continue anyway, and hope for the best. Yes. Yeah, these guys, these guys are now too big. Right, okay, so we need to work that out. Uh, I'm not the best at doing this, I'm not going to lie. But the diameter of these wheels, we're going to bring them down, but also make them go as high as possible there. And our sprocket is actually going to come further backwards and be way bigger. There we go. All right, can we make it even bigger there? There we go. Our sprocket's going to be huge. There we go, because we're driving that, so hopefully that works. Good. All right, we're going... Oh, we only just changed to second when we're going 20 miles an hour. That's awesome. We're still in second at 40? What in the world? We're still in second. All right, we're now in third. Okay, and we are going 47 miles an hour. 48, 49. We're going 50. There we go. Awesome. Yes, 52. We've, we've still got so many more gears to go as well. I don't think we're going to get up to the right speeds though. 54. 55? Okay, we can have our gears closer together now. Uh, that's awesome. We're still in third. 56. 
Okay, we won 60. That's what we want. All right, now we're in fourth. We're still going up the gears. All right, 57. 57 miles an hour. Keep it going. Keep it going. Come on. I don't know where the edge of the map is. I'm kind of worried about that. 57. If we can make 58, I'd be so happy. Come on, 58, please. Oh, yes. Sorry, right, two more. There we go, 58. Oh, and we died. The north killed my tank. That is amazing. All right, we made it to 58. We just need it to be a little bit faster now, and then we'll be good. Okay, so there we go. I've made the uh, the sprocket way bigger, the idlers a tiny bit bigger, and the road wheels are just a tiny bit smaller uh, for reasons. But anyway, let's just keep this going. Here we go, and we'll see what kind of speed we can get up to, and we'll go over the ramp, because why not? Here we go, we're at 30 miles an hour already. Okie dokie, 37, we're at 40. Okay, keep the tank going, full speed ahead. We're gonna do a jump. Whee! Oh my god, that is a jump and a half. It slows us down, but that's okay. Keep going. Come on. Alright, we're at 44, and we are still in second gear. 45, still in second gear. 46, still in second. 47, still in second. 48, still in second. 49, still in second. 50, still in second gear. Okay, 51, still in second gear. Oh my god. Okay, 52, still in second. Okay, right, we need to change that. We do. So, we stayed in second forever there. We're actually going to make it a little bit easier on the tank. So, we're going to make this 3. We're going to make this 1.5. We're then going to make this 1. No, actually, 2. 1. Yep. And then and then the rest of the gears. So, 3, 2, 1. Not point seven three. Okay. Go. Come on. We got this. Okay, we're in second. And we are going 30. We're now in third. And we are going... 40. Okay, we seem to have slowed down quite a bit, but we're going to continue with it. There we go. 43, 44, 45. Oh, God. I want 60. I really want 60. You see, the thing is, I also wanted it to be kind of a useful tank as well. That's why we have a biggish gun on this thing, uh, and that's why we've added the weight for the gun. But unfortunately, I think what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the HE um, rounds. There we go, the APHE. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and release some of the torque out of this. Uh, just a little bit, so it does still turn, but we'll make it one. There we go, that gets rid of some weight, that's awesome. We've obviously got rid of some weight here as well. Mobility, fuel, we're actually going to get rid of these fuel tanks. There we go, get rid of that, get rid of that, amazing. Uh, the internal fuel, we're going to make this 50, that's okay, it can stay as is. And then the crew, uh, I guess if we get rid of some crew, that would be great. So I'm actually going to get rid of the loader, we're going to add an extra loader. And they're going to be like this. Okay, cool. So we've only got three crew in the actual tank itself. That then means that the turret itself can be a hell of a lot smaller if we need it to. So we're actually going to do this. We're going to do this. Okay, we're going to get rid of this door completely. And we're going to lower that down. A bit more aerodynamic. And yeah, that totally works. Alright, very good. Bring this in. Angle this a hell of a lot more. Okie dokie, fendabby dozy. That's really, really cool. We're going to angle this even more as well. And there we go. That is a tiny, tiny turret. Hasn't really changed our mass very much, though. Uh, and the armor of it is still all 10. We might as well make it 5, because 10 doesn't really do that much for us anyway. So 5, yeah, makes sense. All right, as for the front, we're actually going to make it a lot lighter as well. We're going to go with 30. We're going to go with 30. We're going to go with 30. We're going to go with 30, 30, 25, 25. Yes. All right, cool. So we now weigh 16.37 tons. We're going to get rid of this as well and get rid of this. We now weigh 15 tons. Uh, and that is, that's it. That's awesome. All right, since we've got a little bit more space as well, we're going to get rid of some of that. There we go. Amazing. Uh, and that's pretty good. Yes. All right. Come on, guys. We got this. Okay, I made us weigh less. Obviously, as you guys already know, we're going to continue. We're already going 40. All right, come on. 60 mile an hour tank. We got this. 52, 53, 54, 55, whoa, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60, woo, we did it, we got to 60, yes, guys, this thing actually gets to 60 miles an hour, that is awesome, 63, we're still not finished, 64, if we can get it to 65, I'd be so happy, oh, come on, we're so close, but well, we are getting very close to the end of the map as well. 65. Alright, that does it for me. That does it for me. That is awesome. 
All right, now we got to fight a tank because why not? All right, we need a mid-war tank, kind of like uh, do, 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 do. let's go with something a little bit more normal. We'll go with this guy, the M216 Model H. Okay, and there is a lot of them, uh, and I can't see through my gun Tuh! because I changed the turret, and obviously I didn't change the gun sight, so it's actually inside my thing. But anyway, we're gonna do a drive-by. Wait, my fast Italian tank has taken out one of them already. Okay, that's kind of insane. Okay, we just took out another one. Our reload speed is kind of insane as well. Okay, we've just got shot. Our tracks are gone. Okay, that guy's already dead. We only have a few more to take out, guys. Only have a few more. That one all the way out there. I can't aim. And also, I can't drive properly. Let's jump in this tank. Here we go. Oh, yeah. All right, come on, guys. We've got full-on tracks now. This is awesome. Yes. Oh, God, we still can't see, though. It's a bit of a problem. But look at how many of them there are. Pew! Oh, we missed. We missed. I'm just trying to use this circle to shoot him. Okay, we're going 50 miles an hour. 50 mile an hour drive-by. Nope, we're dead. Damn it. All right, just to make the tank a tiny bit more useful, we are going to move that. So, go to crew. There we go. Grab this thing, and we'll move it to the side. And there we go. This tank is now super fast, super useful, and um, that's cool. The lack of armor is completely fine because uh, we're so fast that they'd have to shoot us as we are flying past them. The uh, the slightly smaller gun than normal is also pretty good, uh, and yeah, you know what? I really like it. Anyway, we managed to get a tank to 65 miles an hour, so I am happy. Uh, thank you guys very, very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.